Hey everybody, welcome back, Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be cracking an entire case of the new 2021 LEGO Looney Tunes minifigures. I am super excited about this. There's actually 36 found in this case here, all sealed in their little foil bags there. It's a mystery, we don't know what we're gonna get. I'm actually gonna be doing it a little bit differently. I'm gonna be cracking them all on a live stream and sharing the excitement with the viewers on that live stream there. But what I plan on doing in this video here is showing you what exactly we get in these 36 foil bags here of the collectible minifig series. And also we're gonna build a little display here in the Lego room. So I'm rather excited to start this live stream. You can see I've got my uh, Looney Tunes themed shirt on, right? It's pretty awesome. So yeah, we're gonna get started. We're gonna crack these open and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at all the figs, see what we get and sort of go from there. After opening all 36 minifigures, I'm very happy with the outcome. Each one came with this little thing here, which identifies the minifigures and has a little bit of instructions on the back. We locked out and we got three complete sets of all the Looney Tunes minifigures. So it literally could not have been a better outcome. I am extremely satisfied. Now we're gonna take a look at each minifigure. I'm gonna give you a little bit of tips and tricks on how to feel the bags to ensure that you get the minifigure that you're looking for, so a little feel guide. And then we're also gonna build a display of these awesome minifigures here in the Lego room. So let's get started. They're not really in any type of order here, but we're gonna start on the right side and work our way to the left. So the first minifigure that we have here is Sylvester. And Sylvester is a pretty sweet minifigure, just like all of them in the series here. I like how they have the detailed heads, like the oversized heads, similar to some of the other ones, like the Disney minifigs and also the Simpsons minifigs. You can see it's very highly detailed. They got printing on the side of the legs and also printed torso pieces. Sylvester has a nice tail and just the head is amazing. If you wanna try and find this one in the foil bag, the easiest way to do so is to feel for this baseball bat here because it's very easy to feel in the bag and then you can sort of feel the roundness of it or like the cylinder shape of it. And it's very easy to identify Sylvester by looking for that baseball bat. Next we have Wiley Coyote. This is personally my favorite minifigure in the series. Wiley Coyote is amazing. His headpiece is next level, like his snout. His, the printing detailing on his eyes and ears. It's just fantastic. Once again, he has a nice tail that is a separate piece as well, and he's holding that uh, anvil there. If you want to look for Wiley Coyote in the foil bag, you got to feel for his head. In particular, you're going to feel for that big snout of his. It's very easy to identify. Uh, you can feel his ears, but his ears are similar to Bugs Bunny, but then you'll feel the snout, and you're like, yep, that's for sure, Wiley Coyote. Next up, we have Lola Bunny. Lola Bunny, I actually built all three of them during the live stream where Jose and I were identifying all of these. She's awesome. I love her leg piece. There's uh, print detailing like on the, on the side of it and on the front of it, which is really cool. I think the easiest way to identify Lola is to search for this round ball piece here. Next up here, we have Tasmanian Devil. He is awesome. He comes with the pie accessory, also the drumstick, and you can see that he's sitting on this large dish element here. And it also comes with a minifig stand. So you actually get two bases. This one, you put that piece on the bottom and it allows him to spin like a top, like the Tasmanian Devil. And just his head piece is incredible. It's, it's massive. Take a look at the mouth on that. So it's pretty cool. Also has the, uh, the tail, just like the other ones we saw here, which is a nice touch. And the way that you're gonna be able to identify this one in the package is just search for this large circular dish here. Also his head is pretty easily identifiable with that big mouthpiece, but honestly the big circular dish is what you wanna be looking for, it's pretty easy. Marvin the Martian, pretty sweet. He comes with the fabric uh, skirt there. Also has some nice print detailing on his legs. His body's pretty plain, it's just straight up red, but that's Marvin the Martian. Comes with this blaster there, the nice helmet, and the headpiece with just like the big eyes, which is pretty neat. Now the easiest way to identify him is actually search for this like almost like brush element or broom element on his helmet. That's definitely the easiest thing to find in the package. Then we have Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck's got the big beak, 
pretty cool. Also has the tail as well, this little tiny tail there. I like it when they use the tail piece uh, rather than just having like a print detail. And then it's got the rabbit season print piece as well, which is pretty cool. This you can search for. You can find this little square element fairly easily. Also his beak is pretty identifiable, but you know what, you can find this little, uh, this little tile piece with the clip on the back very easily when you're uh, going through the bags. Now we have uh, Petunia Pig. She comes with the teapot and also the teacup. She's got a skirt there. Her hair piece is pretty wild, or head piece I should say. It's one solid mold. And that's what you want to search for when you're uh, feeling the foil bag there. This Y sort of shape on her, her large head. It's pretty easily identifiable. Also that skirt piece is unique to these minifigures as well. Tweety Bird, Tweety Bird's awesome, comes with the big mallet, a really large headpiece, which is awesome. It's got the uh, darker yellow legs and also the lighter yellow torso and headpiece, but check out the detailing on the eyes and beak and this humongous mallet. Now, this is one that doesn't come with a tailpiece. It's just sort of like a little flame on the back, a little uh, print detailing there. I think that could have been done a little bit better, but... Yeah, it is what it is, but I, I would have liked to see an actual piece that is the tail, uh, just like we've seen on many of the other minifigures here. If you want to identify this one in the foil bag, just search for these circular elements. Super easy to find, probably the easiest one to find. Then we have Bugs Bunny. I'm a little bit uh, disappointed with uh, the Bugs Bunny. I mean, his head is fantastic, and the ears are fantastic as well. But to tell you the truth, I mean, there's not much... Uh, detailing on the torso and also the legs and he doesn't even get like a little fluffy tail you know like I think it should have had a fluffy tail for sure like the little rubber piece a little bit disappointed I mean the only detailing on his on his legs are the little uh, toes on his feet there comes with the carrot pretty standard for Bugs Bunny then we have Roadrunner. Roadrunner's a nice one. The torso is a little bit different because of the wing elements. It's not just standard minifig arms and hands. Nothing too crazy going on here. I mean, he's got like the big mohawk piece there. Also a really nice tail. And then this additional accessory on the side here. A little bit harder to identify. Not really though. You just feel for that torso piece with the different arms. And also this sort of semi-rigid rubber piece is pretty easily identifiable within the package as well. Now we have Porky Pig. He comes with the 2x4 tile that says that's all folks on it. And that's what you want to search for when you're looking for Porky Pig. It's the only 2x4 tile in the package. Uh, he's got a nice head there with his little pig ears and a printed uh, torso piece with some print detailing on his toes. It's got the smaller uh, legs that are uh, movable and of course those attached to the minifig stand there. Once again, no no little ringlet tail for him. Would have been cool if they all came with the tail uh, additional piece, but this one's just printed on the back of his torso there. The last minifigure that we have is Speedy Gonzalez. Arriba, arriba! <laughs> He's got the uh, print cheese uh, wedge pieces there. He's got the bows on his torso, a really nice headpiece there with the big sombrero. Pretty easy to identify within the package, that large sombrero piece, and then it's got the uh, tail as well. Fantastic little minifigure. In fact, I think all of them are great. This is definitely one of my favorite minifig series, and the fact that they were so evenly distributed throughout the entire package was nice. I mean, the fact that we were able to put three sets together is just an added bonus. Pretty easy to identify which ones are which in the foil packaging. All of them have unique elements which are pretty easy to identify. So that's all of them there. Personally, my favorite is Wiley Coyote. Let me know what your favorite is by commenting below. Now we're going to take all of these here and we're going to build a little display in the Lego room. So what I've done is actually attach them in two sets of six. I just use a one by two black plate and attach them by the studs available on their minifig stands. You could use one by two black tiles or essentially anything you want, but I like this because then they're one solid unit and they're all aligned. I do this for my Star Wars minifigures here in the Lego room. For example, these are all my AT-AT walkers and then the minifigures are placed right below them. I guess it would look better with one by two tiles on those minifig stands, but it works. And I have some available space right here on this small billy shelf right below my acrylic stands that hold the brick heads. And I've placed my 12 minifigs right there. 
I've got some open space available here. I'll have to decide what other minifigures I want to extract from the Brixie wall and fill in this open space here below the brick heads because like I've said in previous videos, the brick heads are just too wide to fit here. So it's perfect for a minifig stand. But that's my review and experience of opening one of the solid cases of 36 of the Looney Tunes minifigs. Let me know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.